Hey cruisers, welcome back to Gearathon. 26 days of gear reveals and reviews just for you. So we have another Travel One product today. There's a discount code and a link in the description box below on this particular product. And today we are going to be showing you the dual voltage travel hairdryer. This one runs $40 before our discount. And as you can see, it's travel size, but it's not too miniature, which is what I really like about this little guy. So like I said, it's dual voltage. So you can use this for 125 or 250 volts. And this is a 1200 watt product for those of you who are curious about it. So it has two speed um, settings, high and low. So you do not get to adjust the heat on this product. It's just high and low. Also has one of these removable nozzles. I, they're calling it a nozzle, but I feel like it's kind of, it has another name, but I've heard that these help to dry your hair faster. So that's really cool. What I like about it is that obviously it's better <laughs> Then the hair dryer you're gonna get on the cruise line, folks. A lot of times the hair dryers are really weak, and because of the fact that fire is such a hazard on a cruise, they don't really want you kicking out the heat with your hair dryer. So it takes you forever, especially if you're a woman with longer hair or a man with longer hair, to get your hair dry. So I sometimes will take a travel hair dryer with me on a cruise. The other thing that drives me bonkers about hair dryers on cruises is that they are generally attached to the wall. So there will be some kind of um there will be some kind of a cable that is hooking the, the hair dryer through a drawer or on a spiral cable that you cannot remove. So you have to like pull the cable out. And on my last cruise, it just drove me crazy. I would I had to like sit on the floor almost to use my hair dryer. So the cable on this sucker is obviously quite long, as you can see. So that's not going to be an issue. So I like the size. Definitely going to get hotter than a regular dryer. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in and we're going to give it a test run. Mr. Cruise Tips TV brought me a little extension cord. So we are going to plug it in. And I even brought out my handy dandy dryer brush. And we're going to take this puppy for a test run. It's about to get loud up in here. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's not working. So let's just, there we go. Okay. So I want to just do that one more time. I want to show you the low setting. Okay, that's low and this is high. Okay, let's give it a run. Oh yeah, it's hot. It's, it's hot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the low speed with the um, nozzle. Let's give it a go. Ooh, yeah, no, that's going to sound really bad in the mic. Let's take off the nozzle. I'm not a big nozzle fan. Okay. All right. 10,000 million times better, oh now I have weird hair, right? Than any cruise line hair dryer. Just trust me on this one, you guys, unless you're sailing on an upscale line or maybe a brand new cruise ship, the hair dryers are not primo, so this might be a good investment for you. So if you uh, do purchase one of these, or if you already have a travel dryer that you love, or you have this one, leave us a little bit of information in the comments below. And don't forget to take advantage of the discount code we have for Travel On Bags. Special thanks to Travel On for partnering with us for Gearathon. They've provided us with a lot of the products that we're showing off to you today because they are an awesome fit for cruise travelers. All right, you guys. So we will see you again tomorrow, right, for another Gearathon episode. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, get in gear and get cruising and get that hair dry. <laughs>